Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And for this week, I would like to do another Konosuba unboxing. So we have here Darkness from the uh, Konosuba movie Legend of Crimson. So this one is Figma number 450. And it there it says there Darkness. So we've got our Kadokawa sticker right here. And then the Konosuba movie Legend of Crimson. So here we have a product shot of our pervert adventurer, Crusader Darkness. And here is she is looking regal so at the back we have some more product shots of darkness and bunch of legal information written in Japanese so here she is Top of the box looking happy with the cabbage right here same at the bottom so this figure is mint in sealed box so let's crack this thing open There you go. So we have here uh, still seal the round tape there at the front and at the back. So since this is new, I'll try to open it from the bottom part. There you go. So, with this darkness figure, uh, I completed my Konosuba figures. But my Megumin is just the uh, bootleg one. So, hopefully, I can get the original one later. I just have to hunt her down. So, here is our darkness and we've got um, the just the shirt without the armor so extra parts there so we have here at the back uh, our usual Figma attachment yeah. we've got the Japanese manual uh, in this one English handling instructions So here is the Japanese side, I guess. Yeah. So we've got the standard Figma bag, our standard Figma stand, Figma base, uh, extra. Uh, stand here 
for the cabbage, I guess. Extra uh, peg in case you broke your uh, peg. And three pairs of extra hands. A close piece, sword wielding hand, and open palm hand waving hand. So as for our darkness here. Still uh, wrapped in plastic. Uh, to protect the uh, paint from rubbing off, yeah, because she's wearing a white. Trimmings on her armor, armor. <coughs> Excuse me. And for the sword, mm -hmm. and this one is. I hope I didn't break it. Yeah. So there's just a peg there. And there's another one here for the back armor. Mm, too many plastic. Yeah. So we'll just attach the very this one is looks very fragile there you go so overall very nice figure of darkness she looks like a saber here without the ahoge or the hair sticking up very lovely face there nice paint job there's some pins hair pins on on both of her yeah, side bangs there The yeah, ponytail has a transparent uh, ball joint, mm, very fragile. So we'll just leave it like that. So the shoulder armor is made of. This one is yeah, uh, not soft, hard plastic. So, as for the armor, nice pink job there. You can see the trim on the yellow, yellow linings. Very nice. Nice pink job. Even the ribbon, red ribbon. And for the vertical line, white lines here, very nice. 
mat finish but this one the armor side armor plate shoulder plate is glossy this one is matte the uh, chest plate is like semi glossy this one is glossy the side armor the white one and this one is soft rubber so it's all right the armor is uh, on a ball joint this one is soft rubber as well the inner skirt piece okay and yeah, no pantsu she's wearing uh leggings brown leggings so on the back very nice detail on the sheet brown and with the gold uh trimming here so overall it's a very lovely figure excellent paint job there and it captures darkness really well so let's go over the articulation we can she can move side to side look down that much this bangs is uh, hard plastic so lucky it doesn't limit her looking down and it, she can look up that much as well but the exposed ball joint there so yeah the hair is on the ball ball peg shoulder here they got a swivel there's a swivel there we can do a t pose but we let's be very careful with this one it might get might detach so single ball joint on the elbow and a ball joint on the wrist so torso articulation there waist no waist just here in the torso and her movement will be limited because of the skirt piece yeah with the ar armor so but she can do uh yeah cut tie swivel there and you can move her around just spread the armor piece and then we've got the single ball joint again on the knees uh, brown leggings matte finish and silver finish very nice on the boots with yet to, to articulation as well no no articulate no to no to hinge i think i guess there is but no i'm not gonna uh, no so we've got the ball pick there and there you go lovely figure of uh, darkness so for the accessory we've got the extra pair of uh, arms and the chest exposed uh, with dress no armor when she was hit by the cabbage 
and here we got the a the cabbage with the cute eyes there nice finish very nice matte finish yeah very nice and for his face plate here is her joyful face ecstatic yeah like you know aroused i guess yeah open mouth smile and here is her demure uh yeah cute face So we've got the sword, uh, hilt, which you can put her here. There you go. When she's not carrying her sword, and here is her sword. Yeah, very nice finish. Silver, like a orange or brown handle and gold guard here, and the gold as well so very nice so overall it's a very nice figure excuse me so I haven't been able to stand there yet there so we've got a uh, all the Konosuba characters here Aqua, Darkness, Kazuma, and Megumin. Just the bootleg one. So there you go guys, I hope I can get the authentic Megumin soon, so I hope you enjoy my unboxing today and see you on my next unboxing, so bye for now and have a nice day, ciao!